Hello, my darlings. Happy Tuesday to all of you and welcome back to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final part of Berry Cloth Antiques. We are just going to finish off the interior today. I think we've got the upstairs to do, which is going to be the bigger furniture moment, the bigger furniture area. Sofas, maybe a few sideboards, a wardrobe if I can slip one in and a bit of lighting. And then we've also got... The staff room area with the staff toilets and also the roof terrace as well which we're going to be selling some potted plants um on and that's what we're going to do that is the mantra for today so this week on the channel um don't forget that i'm not going to be posting a video on friday i am going to be away for my next vlog adventure and i've had to go a bit earlier in the week this time so i just haven't got time so tuesday wednesday thursday it's all going to be let's build the worlds Obviously, I did say last week that we were going to do a little challenge video, but I think we're going to leave that until next week instead, plus another speed build next week as well. So lots of things to look forward to there. Yes, we have indeed. Um, I don't need to see anything else. Let's get into game and let's start building. All right, my lovelies, here we are back at Berry Cloth Antiques for the final time. Um, I didn't change anything from last time. I liked how it all looked. Um, so I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're on a roll. We're gonna go so let me remind you this is going to be the bigger kind of furniture area uh this is going to be the lighting area here we're going to do lots of lamps and stuff and i want this to be the staff room with a little staff toilet going on in here as well i might change the staff room toilet flooring maybe put some brick in up here yeah why not you know why not let's do it i mean brick would be nice <laughs> What if I put brick on the ground floor? Let me just have a little... See, I'm going off on one now. No, I'm going to keep the wood vibe. It suits it. Uh, oh, we did change one thing. Put a little bit of signage up here. One of you guys said to do that. So I did that. But everything else I was completely happy with. Yes, I was. So here we are. Hello. How was your weekends, my darlings? I really hope yours was good. I chilled out. Chilled out for mine. Didn't hardly do anything. And it was bloody lovely. I'll tell you what I have been doing. Building in Planet Zoo. Now, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch tonight. And I am building in Planet Zoo on Twitch tonight. So if you want to come and join us. I'm not building a zoo just yet. I'm just practicing all of my techniques with the build build. And what I've started to do is build like a little shocking. A little English village. A little English village with lots of cottages and stuff. So... That's what I'm doing tonight. So if you want to come along and join us, 7 p.m. GMT, darlings. Um, and if you can't join us, you can always watch my videos back over on Twitch as well. And I've got something in my bloody eye. Oh, right. I got that out of my bloody eye. And I also got out all of the lighting that I want to use in here as well. Minus a few wall lights. I think we'll look for a few wall lights together. But let's start putting these around in some various um, positions, shall we? Yes. Yes, we shall. That's what we're going to do. I'm thinking I might flop this light lamp over in this direction here. Oh, yeah, that works. That works lovely. Using a lot of the lighting from um, Journey to Batu because I, I just find it really interesting lighting. I love the lighting. These are outside lights. I've just sized them down to make it look like they're really like interesting, lovely pieces that we're going to all enjoy together. Yes, we are indeed. Uh, the shadows are a bit wrong on them, but we're not going to let that come between us, are we, darlings? No. No, we are not. Uh, I kind of want to change the colour of this now, though. Maybe go for a uh, red like I had it before. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go for a red one. A couple of these little lanterns here. I think I'll flop a couple of you maybe like down on this way. One there and one there as well. Oh, how stunning. Oh, for it. I'm thinking about maybe changing this one to a bit more of a... Ah, oh, they don't come in a rusty colour. That's a bit of a shame. I didn't really notice that with those lights. Those are from that um, industrial kit pack. Uh, so, yeah, if you want them, you can go and get it, my darling. <laughs> you can go and get it. I'm just thinking, do we need them? I do like them, but I'm thinking if I just had these instead... And hang these across. Now I'm hoping the Sims should be able to get past there. So what I might do is just leave a gap big enough so the Sims can go through it. Oh yeah, that looks cute. 
And it doesn't brighten the place up too massively either. I was scared that it was going to really make this really bright over here, but it doesn't. So I'm not even going to change around the intensity or anything. I actually like how it looks. I'm into it. Absolutely into that. So we need some wall lights now. We need some wall lights. I'm thinking we'll probably need to do a set of two for each one. Uh, oh, we could use these because they would go... Oh, God. They would go with the... Um, the ceiling lights quite nicely. I might even size them down again, actually. We'll do one there. And we'll do a, a double one there as well. Ah, oh, stunning. I'm for that. Those are lovely. I need to use those more, these lights here. Strange porch lights, they're called. Loves. Strange indeed. I do like these as well, but I'm just thinking. I could put them here. I'm going to size you down a couple of times as well. I could like put one like here and then one below it maybe. Um, I do you know what? I've even had to change the controls to The Sims 4 for the first time ever. Um, so I'm using the Planet Zoo controls with the camera because I was just getting so confused <laughs> about flitting between either one. So I'm now building in The Sims using controls that I've not really used that much over the years. But it's 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 working, darling. It's, it's absolutely working. I'm for it really am uh i just can't believe how in depth uh the build mode is in planet zoo it's crazy i'm having the whale of a time oh that these would have been great oh, oh i'm not gonna be able to fit them anywhere well i could fit them there but i'd have to move those two lights a little bit i don't mind that i can put them down a bit lower it's fine i'll change the color of that wall light in a second as well uh let's flop you two down to like Oh, you can go there, actually. A little bit higher. Beautiful. And then we'll go for a copper, coppery number with that one as well. Oh, I forget the copper's quite... Um, no, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they've got a lovely selection of lights in here. They really have. Really have indeed. In fact, you know what I'll do? I'm going to move you over here. You're not, you're, not, you're not vibing with me at that height for some reason. I'm going to flop both of you on that side instead. Yeah, that's nice. I do like that. And I think I'm going to use this. I'm going to sell one of these as well. But I'm going to use this to just house a table lamp. Because we haven't really bought out any table lamp. So maybe like a really nice table. Oh, my favourite would really suit in here actually. And I think I'm going to go for a bit more of a, a golden -y vibe with that one as well. Yes. I mean, it is brighter over there, but it's not off-putting. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there we go. I'll make sure all of those items are for sale as well. Uh, I'm going to pull you out a little bit more there, my love. Um, I don't know if I'll sell. Oh, I'll sell it. Why not? In fact, because this was the light that was here before, what I did was just change the color of it. So, yeah, we may as well sell it. Um, stunning. Okay. Stunning. Happy with that. Let's start getting in some furniture. So... I'm thinking these here. I think maybe not using these and having two of these instead. Sorry, I just booped my mic. I'm going to move you. Um, maybe having a couple of these instead. A couple of these. Let me see that. Uh, I do want them, but I don't want them that close to the lights, actually. So I'm going to move you over here. And I'm going to do an industrial set next to the lighting area. Uh, so I'm going to do two of these. No, one of those and two of these. And again, I want that kind of like little, um, kind of like channel moment that we've done everywhere. So they've almost got like aisles, really. I think that's what we're going to do. And then, and then, oh, you know what? They do look kind of modern though, but I'm thinking maybe like a nice mid-century sofa in here would work. Or, oh, do you know what? Actually, I didn't even use one. I thought we used, oh no, they're here. Oh, they're here. That's fine. Okay. I thought I didn't use that one for a minute then. Got a bit scared, won't lie. Um, so, in fact, let me pull out the sofas that I think we should sell here. And we'll start laying them out together. I've pulled the ones out that I want. Um, we're going to go for this decor one. Just because of decor to the max. Um, because I remember putting one of them in his basement in a green colour. So maybe we'll use the blue here. Because I thought the blue went well with this one. Not great, because this isn't gold underneath. But that's the best that I can do. For some reason, they don't have matching swatches. And I'll tell you that reason. Sims loves. Absolute Sims. Um, so I'm going to whiffle you over to this shape. If, over to this side here. 
Um, we're going to use two of these bad boys in front of it. I'm going to try and do like a sofa and a couple of chairs as a set. You can buy them separately, but they do come as a set. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Then I'm going to whiffle this one in this shape here. This one's from university. And then put the university chairs maybe on the other side here. Uh, I might even tilt them actually. In fact, I'm going to tilt all of the... Uh, single chairs just so there's a little a little vibe with them it doesn't look too kind of stale you know you probably don't but i know what i mean and that's all that matters isn't it and then flop these two like that yeah i think so it's a shame that those are hiding it i might even uh because that sofa was hiding the detail on the back of those chairs then uh okay Let's whiffle you to here. If you notice the camera going weird, it's because I'm still getting used to the Planet Zoo controls. So you're probably going to see me make a few mistakes here and there with in regards to the camera. Yeah, that's fine. I think that will work a bit better, actually. Uh, now that these are together, though, I think they should be straight. Now that I've put them together, I think they should be straight. <laughs> uh, doesn't work like that Aiden you can't force people into their sexuality thank you um yes we'll do that and then I'll whiffle you two about here makes me want to move the door slightly so I think I'm going to I'm going to move the door over to this way move that light as well yeah yeah that should work a bit better the only problem with this is this area here I might go have to go like a different way and like put the sofa here and then put the two chairs because oh, that door that door's in the way this is going to be a bit annoying to try and get this right to be honest um because if I put this here it's not going to be enough room for the sims to get past um which is annoying very annoying uh but I'm gonna try it uh let's hold down shift and copy another one over just thought this sofa would look nice in here maybe like when he goes to morocco and uh, so i'm gonna have to get rid of you i think never mind never mind because i do want to do a few other pieces but this room is definitely um a lot smaller than what i thought it was going to be to be honest i'm going to whiffle these a little bit closer there we go and we can do the same there as well so maybe this is just a sofa section to be honest antique sofas there's no other room I can put in. I might be able to do a couple of side tables up here, but everything else. And this is like random, but I think I'm going to use it. I'm going to... Oh, no. Do you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to use it <laughs> because I do want to use this one. And maybe I could slot that into place here if spacing will allow me. Let's flop this in. You can go up a bit as well. And then we can just slot that in there rather lovely like that. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, that looks nice. I do enjoy it. It's just this that feels in the way to me. And I don't know why. It just feels very in the way there. I need to reconfigure, I think. I think I need to think about this a bit differently. Let me have a little play off of camera and see what I come up with. I had a jig around of everything. And we've changed it a little bit, slightly. Got rid of that green sofa set from um university and what i've decided to do is just set everything out into little like sets do you know what i mean little tiny little sets here matching in with some of the pictures and tapestries and stuff collection of just single chairs very nice single chairs and the same over here as well i just set it out into this kind of like feel and vibe we've used some table lamps as well just to bring a bit more of that vibe in uh, and i obviously put some more stuff up on as i said up on the walls as well um, but I like that. I like how that room looks. I think it looks like a lovely, quite upmarket antique shop. As this is what I wanted. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm happy of how that come out. Uh, we'll make sure to sell all of the right things. Anyway, into the staff room. Now, I don't want this, this to be a massive vibe in here, really. Vibe. I just want it to be a little place where they can come uh, eat and drink, to be honest. Uh, I can't move this door and I can't move this door. So we're going to be a bit stuck here. So what we need is a little kitchenette where they can make their 
uh, lunches and whatnot. So I'm going to grab a little fridge out. We'll use this one. We'll use this one here. We'll put a little micro wave on top, darlings. Uh, you will do. Rather lovely. Let's whiffle that into shape. So they got that there. Then we can do maybe some counters. Just maybe some really... We can use those industrial base game ones, actually. That would... this It would really suit this room. Um... We probably need to go darker but darker but warmer uh yeah like that i think that one there would do oh unless nope not that one this one and i'm gonna just flop one around about there lovely and we'll put a sink in one of them as well yeah that'd be perfect perfect little area there um it almost makes me want to put an oven on top that little like um where are you? It's this one, isn't it? Yeah, maybe we could use that one. God, the texture on that is bloody awful. For such a new object as well, the texture on that is bloody atrocious. But I'm going to use it anyway. So they can have proper meals rather than micro microwave ones. Um, <laughs> oh, no, bless Nigella Lawson. I love a bit of Nigella. Yes, and we'll put some cupboards in here as well so we can kind of act as storage. Uh, so we're going to go for the same ones... Uh, that's what we've used. What one are you? Is it this one? No, it's not. It's got to be this one then, isn't it? Oh, it is, darlings. Absolutely is. One of these and then two of the smaller ones. One and a two. Even though I hate the way the walls like swallow half the cupboards. It's bloody stupid. Yeah, little kitchenette. Probably need a bin in here. I don't know where we're going to put that because it's quite a tight space. Um, What I might do... Uh, nope, I'm going to... Mm, Maybe I could use that table from Dine Out. This one here. We'll go for the darker vibe. Um, excuse me, I had a little hiccup then. Maybe I could put some bar stools in here. I mean, go for. Oh, we could go for these. Those industrial. They're kind of industrial looking. It would fit there, and it would fit there because they would be able to get round to both of these. Use all of that. Get into the toilet. The only problem is, is there's not going to be any bin in here, to be honest. Um, which is a sham. Uh, I mean, we don't need this counter. Oh, no, we do, because there's an oven there now. Just about to say, we don't need that counter space, but we really do. Oh, such uh, a shame we haven't got in counter bins. It really is. Uh, I'm not going to be able to put a bin anywhere in here. Not at all. To be able to use it as well, the Sims, would, they would struggle. They would be in struggle town. And I don't want to put a bin out in the shop either. So they're not having a bin. <laughs> Decided. They can put it all down here. They can put it all down the sink. Thank you very much. Right. Um, just for gameplay purposes. If it was real life, I would put a bin in there, but we can't. Uh, and I'm not going to fit one in. So, let's get a little toilet in here. Just a normal, everyday loo. Yeah, you do. You'll do quite nicely. Oh, yeah. Stunning. And then a sink on this side as well. Uh, it, oh, in fact, I'm going to use... Go away. I'm going to use this one here so I can use a little bit of a... Not industrial, but just in keeping... And I think I'll use that base game one, this one. I'll just go a bit darker with it there. Lovely. And then we'll just put a simple little mirror up on here. So I'll go for a, a little square wooden number. Beautiful. And a little toilet roll here as well. Um, I'll try and use this one. There we go. Stunning. Yes, that's fine. I mean, as I said, I really wanted to add in a bin in here, but I can't. I can't and I shan't. Right, cork board, I think. Staff dates and whatnot, you know. Let me just text search for cork. And we'll put this one here in, like this. Maybe like staff announcements and whatnot. Um, and I'll make sure to make this staff only entry. Um, uh, I mean, I could put a little plant on the table just to like, you know, make it feel a bit nicer in here. Why not? In for a penny, in for an absolute pounding, as I say. There we go. That one there would do. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, and a clock. That would really work. Oh, let's go in here. Um, and just put in an employee clock so they're always on time and they know what time to come off their lunch and whatnot. Yes. Absolutely fine. Oh, I think we're done with the interior, love. I do like it. Now, what I will do um, is add in a few speakers. I'm going to add in 
I wish we had like a... Oh, no, we do have a brown one. Oh, there we go. I'll add in a speaker up there. Lovely. And we'll do one downstairs as well so they can have a little bit of music coming through. Um, Where do I want to put you? I mean, I can put you above here, actually. That would probably work out the best. Is that eating into the ceiling? Nope, it's fine. Loves. Done with the interior. We've obviously got to finish off this area here. Um... And I just want plants up here. And I do want an area where the employees can come out and sit down. So I might do that here, actually. Um, no, I'll do it here. I'll do it here under the window. Little bench. Little bench. But um, I want plants for sale. I want plants for sale. So I'm going to pull out a variety of things. Uh, and we'll place them around together. Okay. I've pulled out enough plants, I think. What we're going to do is just place them around. Place them around together. Uh, I'm going to bring up some more fertilizer up here as well. I just think that would make sense. And uh, so I just want a nice little area where all of these plants can be for sale. Uh, I'm going to whiffle you, actually. Just a little bit, my love. Ah, excuse you. Round about to, like, there. Oh, stunning. Yeah, I'm for that. Absolutely for that. You can come down in this corner here, because you're going to be a big boy. Um, We'll flop you to about there. We'll bring you out this way. And then we'll just place them all down this little line here. Some tulips. Uh, we'll pluck you at the front. We'll put the bigger plants at the back. So they can kind of... Yeah, this would be cute. This would be cute. Uh, oh, you can actually go there. You will do well there. You will do well there. You can flop over to there, my love. Beautiful. Some succulents. Um, we'll, plus the, we'll plop the succulents there. I still want to get a bench in for the staff. Um, we can plop you there as well. I'll make sure all of this is for sale too. Uh, with the save file. When I upload this to the gallery, these probably won't be for sale. So you'll probably have to go and do that yourselves, my loves. But not too bad. It won't take you too long. And I'll flop you in that position there. You can probably come round to like here. Right, let me turn you that way. And you can go maybe there. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of cute. That is kind of a cute little terrace, actually. What I do need, we need a hose up here to get all of these plants watered. So I'm going to flop the hose to like there. And I'm going to try and squeeze in a little employee bench now. Just so they've got somewhere to sit. I might use that base game one in the dark brown. Oh, that's perfect. A little bit, a little bench there for the employees to sit on. Um, and I did want to bring up some more of that fertilizer. That's, that's what I'm going to do. Some super fertilizer. Oh, where am I going to be able to squeeze you? Um, do you know what? I'm going to get rid of you. Get rid of that succulent number. And we're going to plonk a few of these down. Let's turn them the opposite ways. There we go. Raise you up, my love. Stunning. Turn you around that way. Raise you up as well, darling. Beautiful. And then twice and then a bit of fertilizer down there we'll get that for sale sign down there as well and we'll just plop that in behind it maybe i could move that a little bit more there beautiful stunning yeah yeah i'm happy with that that kind of looks cute bringing a little like garden bit on the top of that terrace actually i do enjoy that i do enjoy it darlings we're done we are done with berry cloth antiques um so this is the vibe this is the vibe of Berry Cloth Antiques. We're going to have a little whiffle through on a tour now. Um, so obviously this is the exterior. The exterior with a little shop front. We'll go back around that way in a minute. Don't worry. Um, the little roof terrace garden centre that we've done as well. Um, the salvage yard at the back with all of these beautiful garden bits. Um, and various other nautical themed wonders. Um... Old tractor of that that tractor's definitely not for sale. Um I reckon that was I reckon that was Graham's father's or granddad's. Yes, granddad. Um so it's very old, been in the family for generations. Um so into the workshop. So this is the workshop where he does a bit of his building, a bit of his tinkering on his car and whatnot. Um lots of little storagey bits in here as well. Very much for this. Yeah, this just feels a little bit realistic in here. I do like it. Do like it. 
Um, go around to the other side. Let's start up here again. So this is where we're going to go in now. Into the main entrance. We've got our little window displays. Our little window display moments here and here. Beautiful for that. You come in this way. You're greeted with all of these wonderful antiques. Um, bits and bobs, you know. Bobs and bits. That's all I need to say on the matter, to be honest. Lovely little pictures up there. Um, this is the main till area. Retail spots. Beautiful. And then up here. Up we go into the area that we've just done, which is the main kind of floor, I reckon. The main kind of furniture floor for that. And the little lighting section over in the corner as well. Ah, beautiful. Then we've got the little staff room in here. Little staff room number. Still pissed off that we can't get a bin in here, but oh well. Uh, and then into the toilet as well. Beautiful. I'll do a little top-down shot for you guys as well that like to see the floor plans if you do want to copy and follow along so let me do this for you so obviously that's that there and then down and then down again there we go darlings we're absolutely done um i've really enjoyed doing this one really really enjoyed doing this one we are back tomorrow with a family um a family that are going to be living near the berry cloth so it's going to tie into that storyline so that's what we're going to be continuing with tomorrow so as i said i'll be live on twitch tonight 7 p.m playing some planet zoo building practicing building not building a zoo as of yet and um, so come along and join us if you can but if you can't i will see you all tomorrow goodbye